Hi guys, I want to do a video about studying for finals because as you can see, I got my Christmas tree up and um, basically in the nursing world, that means it's around December time and you're preparing for your nursing finals. Um, finals were always a very anxious time for me and for most of you, I'm sure, because you it's like everything you've learned in the semester on one exam and that can be very, very overwhelming. So I want to talk about some tips of things that I did when I was in nursing school and things that I wish I would have known while I was in nursing school. Um, but before we get started, you do need to know that this video is sponsored by Picmonic. And Picmonic is one of the awesome resources that I wish I would have had when I was in nursing school, especially for studying for finals. So let me tell you a little bit about it. Picmonic is an app or you can use it from your laptop or computer. Um, it's an all-inclusive resource for studying for nursing school. And in particular, it's really geared towards helping you prepare for the NCLEX. But what's great about Picmonic is it uses visual representations, videos, images to help solidify your memory and learn all things nursing school. So I don't know about you guys, but when I learn something, I have to like see it and visualize it. I can't just like read it in a textbook. And Picmonic does this for you. So let's say that you're learning about high blood pressure and you learn about in, in school, you can go home to Picmonic, go onto their app or their website, and you can type in high blood pressure, and you can learn about high blood pressure in a fun, meaningful way that's gonna help you remember it versus just learning about it in a textbook. Remember hypertension assessment as the assess man cracking down on a chef with high blood pressure. Essential hypertension, shown by the Espresso Hiker BP, is idiopathic but may be linked to genetics, poor diet, or obesity. Whereas secondary hypertension, shown by the 2-2 hiker BP, is the result of a disease or medication. The great way that you can use Picmonic for finals is you can create playlists of all the content that you were learning throughout the semester and use that to help you study. So whether you're re-watching all the Picmonic videos or using their question function, which goes through NCLEX style questions to help you practice what you've already been learning. It's a great addition to help you study for nursing school to help you study for finals and to prepare you for the NCLEX, which you know is basically right around the corner once you start nursing school. I will have a promotional link for you guys to try out Picmonic for free, so make sure you check them out and let me know what you think. Let's talk about a couple other studying tips for finals. Okay, I know we're in December, but not all of you are gonna be watching this video in December. Some of you may be watching this in the future because you're just curious about how to study for finals. The biggest, biggest thing you can do is don't wait till the end to study for finals. <laughs> I know this may not be helpful for you right now, but um, if you can, start studying for your finals literally at the beginning of your semester. So when you take exam one and you finish that, don't just push away all that content and start focusing on exam two. Keep reviewing old content throughout the semester so that way when you get to your final, it's like you don't even really need to study because you've been studying for it the whole semester. I can't tell you how many people just take an exam and they say, oh, let all this information go out of my head. I need to make room for exam two. And I get it, but you can't, you can't think like that because this is all information you're going to need to know, one, for the final, but two, potentially for your entire nursing career. So study throughout the semester so you're not cramming in the end. The next thing that was super helpful for me was to actually write out questions for finals myself. So I would literally look at all of my nursing notes, the textbook, all my PowerPoints and whatnot that we use throughout the semester, and I would write out my own types of questions for finals. And this sounds tedious, and it is a little bit tedious, but if you are thinking about the content like in the way that the, the professor or your teacher is potentially thinking about it, it's going to give you such a different perspective and really like help that knowledge sink into your head. Because if you can like, write your own questions and come up with the answers for them, then you're, you're gonna remember it so much easier. And actually one thing I did in nursing school was for every exam, including the finals, I would do this and I would actually share it with my classmates. So they felt like they're benefiting from it because they would like take my tests and it would help them study. But really it helped me study because I was the one coming up with these types of questions. And if you do it for every exam throughout the semester, 
by the time you get to the final, you won't even have to write any questions out. It'll be like easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And again, if this isn't maybe your style of things and you just wanna take the questions, that's where Picmonic comes into play because you can go on and customize your question banks to take quizzes that are going to help you prepare for your final. My last and final tip is to write out a study plan. I know some of you are gonna be like, ugh, this sounds so tedious. I get it. But if you are just like willy nilly studying for a final, like, okay, right now I'm gonna study for 20 minutes and do this part of my content and then tomorrow I'll do this. It's not going to necessarily force you to sit down and stay motivated by it. So let's say you have two weeks until your final, write down your daily plan. Like, okay, on Monday, I plan to take an hour and I'm going to review my pharmacy content. And then on Tuesday, the next day, I'm going to take 30 minutes and go over my exam one flashcards. And that will help you prepare for your final over like a two week period versus cramming it all in one day. Also, I know you have multiple finals to do this for, so I get it, it's complicated. The information is just, it's information overload and it's meant to be like that because we wanna make great nurses and we want to make sure that you're challenged and if you're feeling challenged, then know that you're in the right place. You, you should be challenged, you should feel like you're struggling a little bit because then you are growing and that's going to make you a better nurse. So these finals are important, but just know that as stressful as they are, the overall goal of getting you through nursing school and helping you grow is um, to challenge you and that's going to make you a better nurse in the long run. I hope these um, tips were helpful for you guys. Make sure you check out Picmonic in the description box below and I will see you in my next video. Oh, and good luck with finals if you're watching this and you have finals soon. I, I'm so glad I don't have finals anymore, <laughs> but I feel you, I get it, I remember all the stress that comes with it and then the, also the great feeling of being done and not having any more finals for a couple of weeks so good job guys you're doing great stick with it and i'll see you in my next video bye